Hello everyone, this is another week of my devlog of an arcade gaming gadget. So I added a simple and small scene to test some basic game mechanics. Other than that, I also worked a little bit on an IK foot system for my character. I think it looks pretty nice and I hope you like it. It's Monday, and I think I created the most unresponsive and irritating arcade game ever. So yeah, I added those collisions, and I created the simple scene when you need to climb up to this crystal, and you know, uh, you'll be rewarded with some kind of ability. So yeah, today I worked again on this old drawings. I added few new things. First of all, uh, I changed this jump place so it's wider and easier to to jump on. Uh, secondly, I created uh, a few new things, uh, uh, especially a new place you want to climb. This is this one on the top you can see right now on the screen and you'll be f forced to enable the path to it uh, using this uh, Vulcan which will be enabled via this crystal uh, you see on the left and then you jump on this Vulcan thing you will be in some kind of elevator so that you will be able to achieve your goal okay so it's Wednesday and uh, I decided to show you my current state of this old ruins. As you can see, there are a few changes in the building, and there are collision almost on every mesh, so you can walk through here. Uh, and of course, you need to get up there, so there's a the standard way. So I get through it. It's kinda hard with the current controller, but I will work on it in the future. And yeah, so actually when you jump close to this crystal, this is a temporary way, because I think you enable it differently, but you enable this uh, blue flame, uh, which is uh, an elevator, and of course it will be disabled after a few seconds, so you need to enable it again and when you use the ability here you can elevate to this floor when is this uh, chest or maybe i should say white box and you will be rewarded with you know some items so yeah i was a little bit bored with uh, a recent uh, addition to my game so i thought that i would do something um, pretty cool <laughs> And the thing you see on the screen right now, it's a pretty basic implementation of IK foot placement. Uh, so the foot is almost always flat on the ground. And it's pretty much working okay, uh, except for some, you know, problems with IK in Godot, like scaling. Uh, and as you can see it's working uh, as you expect and I have also an animation scene so if I comment this one and run this one yeah this is still not yet automatic uh, so you can see there is a placement of the foot I know that the speed of animation isn't really uh, proper right now and there is no acceleration in this animation so this is the static linear movement uh, but yeah the foot are placed correctly on their surface and uh, I saw few implementations or maybe 
uh, videos of implementations in Godot, but I didn't see any source code, so I was forced to write this by myself. Yeah, and that's it. It's Saturday, and I made a few changes to my old ruins. As you can see, I increased the scale, uh -huh, and uh, I also changed my foot IK system for a player so I probably do a tutorial on it because uh, <laughs> I managed to do blending with IK in a few lines of code actually in Godot so I am kind of happy with that so okay let's uh, make a tour around new map so maybe not, it's not so new but <laughs> there are a few changes so I added this path, I thought that it was kinda too easy this way, so uh, I forced the player to move to this little room and when you go up you can jump here and if you enable the crystal again you go here and again using your ability here achieve your chest <laughs> or something like that I didn't model it yet so I am still not sure what uh, what we will find here that's all for this week in the next one I hope I've improved some animations and maybe work on some better collisions so that for example you won't be forced to jump in front of small objects you want to climb so, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.